is Dale D'Antoni here. Welcome to the Sofa Sessions. D'Antoni, why is I be working with a lot of people day in and day out. They yeah. come and go. They mm-hmm. come and go. Where's your shop at? It's right on Broad Street, across from the Croc Center. Okay. You know the Croc Center? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so I know. brick building across the street don't look like nothing. Yeah, is it just like a hallway? <laughs> so I got or like, like a how double, big is it? I got I got like a double side, so it's like I got a shop side, and then I have where the production goes on it. Okay. So it's like I could have like a a retail side, and then where like I host some events on one mm. side, and then I have my production on the other. How big is it? Is it pretty big or? Yeah, it's pretty big, dog. Um, mm. Is I, it expensive? Uh, no, nah, it's. It's affordable. Okay. It's affordable. It, okay. You like renting it out or leasing it or Yeah, I'm leasing it. Oh yeah. dang. Yeah. Where are you gonna move to next if you if you are? I have no idea. Um <laughs> I kinda wanna get out of Georgia. If really? I'm, if I'm speaking honestly. Yeah. I don't wanna be in Georgia. Um or if it is Georgia, it's outside of Augusta. Yeah. Like, mm. I move somewhere, Savannah or something like out the way. Savannah, cool. Yeah, Savannah, cool. I've been there a little closer a couple to times. Florida. Yeah, I ain't really no summers got old, man. I like I I want to get like I don't know. I'm, I'm I go to Houston or something. Honestly, yeah, Houston, Charlotte. Right, it's a couple places. I you gotta go somewhere get. cold so you can layer up all year. Yeah, how how I'm trying to live, bro. I just won't even be in the same place for too long. Yeah, all the time. That's true. You don't like it, guess, or you just want to get out? I've been here all my life. Yeah. Shit. Like, shout out 706, man, but I think I've had my times with this. Yeah. Man. It's like, I always appreciate the city, but I don't think, like, people don't, people look at me and they like, you from here? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, no, oh, I, I couldn't tell. Yeah. I don't think I fit this city, bro. Is it because you, uh, how you dress? Not even how I dress, bro. I'm just out the way. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to go to the same four bars every week. Like, and shout out to the ones that I do go to every now and then. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. That's not my lifestyle. It's it's like it's a it's a type of person you got to be to live in Augusta, and I'm not that person. Mm. Yeah, there's not a lot of stuff here to do. Yeah. I feel like. I don't know, bro. I just want <clears throat> I want a little more for myself. Yeah. Like a bigger city kind of? Even if I go to a bigger city, bro, yeah, a bigger city is nice, bro, but it's just somewhere that's not going to kind of hold the youth back, bro. Yeah. I feel like Augusta holds the youth back. And mm-hmm. The people that's actually trying to put out quality stuff. They don't get the recognition. They don't get the, the the backing from the community. It's a lot of stuff that goes in it, bro. Like, I could I could really dive deep into how the community doesn't want to give back. Like mm-hmm. the building I got, bro. Like nobody was ever gonna go release that building again. Mm-hmm. Like I had to repaint, kind of almost rebuild. Like I had to do a lot of infrastructure work to the building, and with for me leasing it. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. But it's just, Augusta is, I think it's just based as a retirement city. Or if you got, like, it's just not for the, I don't think if you in your 20s mm-hmm. and you're trying to do something, build something, it was cool for me to start a business here because, like I said, it was affordable. And I yeah. learned the ins and outs. But I think I would like to spread my wings and fly out. Yeah, fly out I feel that. Else. I feel that. I don't know, though. I I kind of like it here, though. I like, North, I like North Augusta more, though. It's laid back. Yeah. yeah. I got all my family here. So how how do you, what do you mean by, like, they hold the youth back? It's kind of like. Like the government or, like, the mayor people or, like, just. Just in general. Just the people here. I think people in the community, people that run the community. Mm-hmm. It's like if you ain't like, there's nothing else for kids to learn. There's no no trades in schools. That's true. They, like if you don't play sports, or you're not the smartest kid, you asked out. Yeah. You asked out, bro. And then you there's there's nothing teaching these kids about nothing, bro. And they don't want to learn nothing. 
like you just can't connect with them. So it's like you got to kind of put stuff out. Like I remember in high school, I don't know if they still got it. I went to Westside. We had an auto shop. Mm. I had some homies. I used to just like they was changing their oil at tenth grade. <laughs> Dang, like but that's what they had at yeah. the time. I don't know if they still got it. But like a career center. Yeah, every school should have that. I don't yeah. really understand why they don't implement certain things or reach out to certain businesses to to let kids. Hey, want to do an after school program with this mechanic? Like, yeah, certain kids that want that that take interest in that, or mm-hmm. some kids that want to take interest in banking. Like, it's it's so much stuff that we don't know about. I think the school systems aren't that good either, you know, because they're not teaching stuff that kids need to know. Yeah. They're just teaching, like, random stuff. I don't know. Bullshit. Yeah. Shit that don't make sense, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, like random square math root questions. Of, the square root of 64. When the hell I needed to know that? I don't even know what it is, who's, to be honest. Who's the 14th president? John like, Adams, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> See? One of them. Like, <clears throat> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, they need, they need to have, like, actual like actual careers in the school starting from middle school bro yeah like by middle school you need, kids need to know like oh i don't like that i really take interest in that oh he's good with his hands put him yeah. in, put him around welding put him like kids can go to welding school at augusta tech for two years mm-hmm. come out making more than both of their parents combined for real like but they don't know that yeah like it's crazy, bro. Yeah, they were saying, like, in middle school, you kind of need to start knowing what you like to do and what you want to do for the rest of your life. But it's like, what? I mean, I don't... You have you guys haven't showed me how to do anything. Y'all haven't showed me, like, any jobs that I might find interesting. No. Nah. So it's like, what do I do? No. Nah. And then you got people going to college and then spending their money, having th- tens of thousands of dollars in loans, man. That's crazy. <laughs> me? <laughs>